Welcome back to Stay in Your Lane. I'm your host, John Maley, presented by Triple T Transport. Today we're going to talk about some things that uh, I think are in the background for most of us in our industry, but you know, I've got a couple experts here I want to share with you. Um, today uh, I'm offering to all of you the ability to learn some things about insurance and risk management from uh, Jody Maher and Lisa Vranick. Uh, they are with Avalon Risk Management and these two ladies are sharp. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, they have different roles with the company, but um, Jody, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? I mostly I'm in sales, so mostly am reaching out to new opportunities um, and clients to see where Avalon would fit best in their um, business insurance program. So you're vetting people that are interested and you're interested in working with, you're trying to understand um, are they a good fit? Are you a good fit for them, et cetera? Yeah. So you're, you're basically uh, qualifying and, and understanding your role and from a, a positional perspective, uh, selling. Yes. And exactly. Lisa, you are the vice president. Sales and marketing. Yes. Sales and marketing. Okay. Yeah. I, um, I started out with Avalon, um, in sales, um, and then running one of our regional sales and service offices. Um, and then recently stepped into this role of vice president of sales and marketing. So I'm responsible for setting Avalon's uh, corporate sales and marketing strategy, and then working with all of our um, salespeople across the United States to assist them and um, support them in their, um, in their role of, of selling new business. Very good. Well, and I understand uh, Avalon is is a is a niche provider, as you are for for Triple T for us, and we align with you. Uh, I think from a business model perspective, where we understand that um, we're not for everyone, we're not going to be for everyone, but we're here to provide a, a higher level of value in the relationship, and it's really more of a partnership from our side. And I think that. I think that's the alignment between uh, Avalon and, and your organization and ours. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. And I, and I think, you know, we were, um, you know, very excited, you know, when we kind of felt that, you know, from Triple T that you all were looking for a business partner, because that is exactly the feedback that we're looking for when we're qualifying, um, you know, an opportunity. Um, we aren't going to be a solution for everybody. Um, you know, we're looking for somebody that um, is interested in partnering with us. And, you know, something we like to say is we don't just sell insurance policies. We are really selling ourselves as an extension of your team. And so that's where we feel like we fit best. Oh, I, I would agree. We, uh, we're very happy with the service that you provide oh. for us. Jody and her service team, that's, that's uh, because of them. Well, thank you. Get, make sure you give them kudos from all of us. Yeah. I, I think that it's a, it's a niche market, though, when we're talking about contingent cargo. Yes. And I, I think as we see the economy shift uh, into the recession mode, we start to see more things being missed. Uh, I saw that, uh, you know, losses, claims for losses and, and theft have been sky high. My question is, how does that how does that impact you and what are you seeing currently? Something that we saw a lot of um, is our customers kind of reinventing themselves. Everyone was scrambling a little bit. Um, from our perspective, you know, we, for instance, would see some of our freight broker clients suddenly getting into international operations or getting into warehousing. Um, you know, trailer leasing became sort of a big thing that we were sometimes finding out about after the fact. And I think, you know, all of these things can be handled um, from an insurance perspective, but if that's not your area of expertise, you really need to make sure that you are working with an insurance broker that understands these exposures because it really, you know, can put you in a position where you're not properly covered. Well, I think that's a, I think that's a game changer um, when you are moving into different areas from a reactionary perspective, that, that changes the game. 
Oh, oh. sure. Absolutely. I mean, so, so many have, have found themselves kind of wandering into other businesses. Yeah. Absolutely. I know, you know, Jody has talked to me about several of her freight broker clients that, you know, like I mentioned before, are getting into or want to get into trailer leasing and, yeah. uh, you know, beca can become very problematic. It's something that's an exposure, especially for a freight broker is, is difficult to ensure um, it can be done. But, you know, from an underwriting perspective, when we talk about developing programs for freight bro brokers, and also from a claims perspective, the way an insurance company is going to respond to claims that freight brokers have, we're always trying to basically separate the broker from the asset side, from the trucking side. And when you lease or buy trailers and that becomes part of your business model, you're basically introducing that asset back in. Trailing off of what you said, you're introducing that asset back in and the coverage for an asset-based company is completely different than coverage for uh, the freight broker. Right. For us, you know, we're looking and we're coming to an insurance provider looking for contingent cargo. Right. Right. And, and contingent is just that. You're looking to insure in case the motor carrier's policy does not respond. Right. You're, you're basically ensuring your, your practices on a day-to-day -day basis, your parameters. You're ensuring that our checks and balances are there and that we're on top of it. And then you're also ensuring for the what if or in worst case scenario, you're ensuring uh, equipment that you don't own, that you're not the primary insurance provider for. If you were to do the, if brokers were to be leasing trailers exactly you know you're they would be looking for coverage because obviously if you're leasing trailers the leasing company is going to ask you as the lessor to provide physical damage coverage on those trailers and then auto liability coverage and when you're not in control of those trailers it takes a really specialized program to ensure that and there aren't very many insurance companies that that want to do it um, especially if your trailer pool that you're leasing you know, you're not using dedicated carriers and you don't have proper interchange agreements in place, et cetera. You know, I think, you know, we, we talked a few of those people off the ledge. I'm not saying I'm not saying people should or shouldn't lease trailers. I'm just saying it is difficult to find the coverage. The strategy that underwriters are using when they're insuring a freight brokerage operation is to put distance between you and the carrier and basically just focusing on the fact that you're an arranger of transportation. You know, this is especially critical with um, the auto liability exposure that brokers really shouldn't have, but they do. And that's why you carry the contingent auto liability. But, you know, if a carrier that you hire gets into an accident and harms a third party on the highway, you know, that liability could potentially come back to you in introducing that trailer asset in there kind of ties you a little bit closer to that accident. Well, we all know when things go bad uh, and accidents do happen, but when things go bad, uh, at some level, the legal perspective goes where the money is. Absolutely. Where they think, where they think there's revenue. Absolutely. So uh, we provide our shippers with a, a real insurance policy and a plan for claims and collections etc that is different than most you know we're not going to hand you a carrier's insurance certificate and say here you go mr customer good luck collecting we're out of it we're not you're walking back. through that process with them we're going to walk through the process we're going to basically drive the bus because it's something that we're probably better at than most of them right and that's an interesting point, because when you do that, too, you're really protecting your own loss ratio. So if you are facilitating that claims process with the carrier, because you're the one that has the relationship with the carrier as well, you know, it's in their best interest to also work with you on this claim, especially if it's a gray area and to respond timely, because 
you know, you've, you've got additional loads that you may or may not decide, you know, to give them. Um, but it also protects your contingent cargo policy. So if you're able to get that claim covered by the carrier's insurance, or if for some reason their insurance doesn't cover it, they are ultimately responsible for the loss under CARMAC and, you know, pressuring them to pay, it protects the loss ratio of your policy. So. Well, I think it, it's, it's a positive from all perspectives. We're, we're taking care of it from the cradle to the grave with our client. Uh, we're going to provide them payment immediately for their, lo their losses. So mm -hmm. much of what we do is food, okay? So if it's frozen right. or refrigerated food, we've got, uh, we've got general public safety to be concerned with. So proof of destruction becomes important for us, and all the details become important. But I think the devil's always in the details and insurance also. But when you start trying to insure things that you don't own or that you're not in control of, that becomes a difficult picture. Well, and I think too that um, that point is it, it's important because you really need to, it's just so important for everyone in the logistics industry to be working with an insurance agent that understands their industry. And, you know, that that's sort of the value proposition that Avalon has is that logistics is all we do. Trade and transportation, that is our area of focus. Those are the insurance, um, you know, programs that, you know, we've, we've developed some of them with underwriters um, specifically for this industry. And, you know, we have the ability to, you know, change them as well, because, you know, we are really focused on what's going on in the industry. You know, where are the claims? What, what is the next thing? You know, do we need to have better coverage that is more responsive to some of the things, you know, going on in the marketplace? Um, but that's why it's so important to work with an agent that isn't just selling you a policy, but that really knows the ins and outs of it. So someone like yourself that does, you know, a lot of food and perishables, you know, there, there are a lot of different exclusions in contingent cargo policies with regard to perishable items and reefer goods. And, um, you've got to have somebody that understands how to read those policies and that can communicate that to you. So you're getting what you think you're paying for. Absolutely. I think you guys do a great job. Um, I would like to, uh, I would like to have you on another episode and, and we can kind of uh, touch base on uh, some more information. I'm interested to, to understand what you're seeing and what you're forecasting from an insurance perspective of, of what happens when things are changing right now and what you're seeing. So uh, if, if it's okay with you, I'd like to have both of you back on for another episode. Oh, we would love yeah. that. That's Terrific. great. This has been really fun preparing for it, thinking about it. It's been fun. Yeah, I'd love to do it again. Well, we'd like to have you, uh, both of you on again, and uh, we'll get that scheduled. Um, but other than that, I want to thank both of you for, for uh, introduction and sharing uh, with our viewers uh, the value that you bring us and the value that hopefully we bring to each other and that you actually truly understand our industry at a high level and what, what we need from an insurance provider. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your partnership. And frankly, Jody and I are just thrilled that someone wanted to talk about insurance and let alone do a podcast. I mean, it's insurance after all. <laughs> well, like we said the other day, it's coming up on spring break week, or spring break month. Uh -huh. Why would you want to go do that? when we can talk about right. insurance. Absolutely. I we, mean, we would have to be crazy to do that. <laughs> All right. And we'll be talking to you soon. Continue watching on the next episode of the Stay in Your Lane podcast.